we have 11 ounces plus 29 ounces plus 5 pounds is equal to how many pounds, or blank pounds. So we need to add these three quantities right here. And they want us to give the answer in pounds. And we can only add quantities that have the same unit. So let's just add these ounces first, just to get them out of the way. And then we can see maybe we can convert them to pounds, or convert the pounds to ounces. But we'll probably convert them to pounds so that our final answer is in pounds. So if we just add 11 ounces plus 29 ounces, what do we get? Well, 11 plus 29 is 40. So this right here is 40, let me write it like this. This right here is 40, 40 ounces. So we need to add 40 ounces to 5 pounds to get a certain number of pounds. So let's convert this right here to pounds. And then once we have that in pounds, we can just add it to that, and then we have our final answer. So 40 ounces, we want to convert it to pounds. So we need to multiply it by something, where in the units, we have ounces in the denominator. We have ounces in the denominator, ounces in the denominator, and we have pounds in the numerator. Pounds in the numerator. And we need that so that these ounces cancel out with these ounces, and we're just left with pounds. And we know already that there are 16 ounces per pound. So there are 16 ounces per one pound. Or you could say there's one pound for every 16 ounces, or you could say there's 1 16th of a pound per ounce. Either way, if you multiply these two quantities, the ounces cancel out. And this whole quantity becomes, when you multiply it out, you're left with 40 divided by 16. 40 over 16. It's really 40 times 1 over 16, but the 1 doesn't change anything. And then 40 over 16 pounds. 40 over 16 pounds. And let's see if we can write this as a mixed number, or if we can simplify this a little bit. Both of these numbers are divisible by both of these numbers are divisible by 8. So let's divide them both by 8. If you divide 40 by 8, you get 5. You get divide 16 by 8, you get 2. So it's 5 halves. If we want to write this as a mixed number, or even better, let's write it as a decimal. If we want to write this as a decimal, this is 5 divided by 2. 2 goes into 5, 2 goes into 5, 2 goes into 5 2 times, 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract, you have a remainder 1. We want a decimal, so let's put the decimal right there and keep bringing down 0. So let's bring down a 0 right there. 2 goes into 10 5 times, 5 times 2 is 10, and we have no remainder. No remainder. So this is exactly 2.5, which makes sense. 5 over 2 is the same thing as 2 and a half as a mixed number, which is the exact same thing as 2.5. So this is so our whole problem, this part right here, this first part right here, simplified down to 5 halves pounds or 2.5 pounds. So the problem becomes 2.5 pounds plus 5 pounds, plus those 5 pounds right there, plus 5 pounds. And 2.5 plus 5, fairly straightforward. It's 7.5. So this is equal to 7.5 pounds. 7.5 pounds is our answer. And we're done.